Rice, what are you doing at McDonald's? Have they started selling uh, rice in all its great forms? No, I just ran so bad at Bally's that it extended beyond the poker table to the sports drinks. And now I'm at McDonald's. I actually started the day in Aria and it was pretty good. Uh, I won a bunch of hands, made about a buy-in. Later, went to Bally's. I got all in. The first big hand I played, top set versus a gut shot. The guy needed in either order to hit his gutter and dodge me improving. You know, hit the gutter first, I don't improve, or stay alive, I don't improve on the turn, and then he hits his gutter, he got exactly that. He turned his four outer, and I did not improve. I had 10 outs to improve to the river, he dodged them all. That was a $650 pot going to him. Later, I played a pot where I lost to a one outer. I got all in on the flop, over pair versus over pair, all clubs on the flop, I had a club, other guy didn't. He needed his one outer set that couldn't be the club, he turned it, and then he dodged my 10 outs for a flush or a bigger set. Uh, that was like a $465 pot going the other way. Lost a few other small pots. And in Bally's, I think I lost 606. So that was minus 311 total on the day, which is interesting because that's uh, losing a buy-in. 300 max is the game I usually play. You know the last time I lost a buy-in? June 11th. That really bad day in Council Bluffs that started off minus 900, and then I went back and won a little bit, and it was only minus 648. So from June 11th until October 18th, which was yesterday, I guess now it's October 19th, that's 130 days. I played poker 109 of them, and only twice did I lose a buy-in. Day number one, June 11th, I lost a buy-in. Day number 130 on the calendar, Day number 109 of poker, I lost a buy-in. How many times did I win a buy-in in that stretch? Uh, just 18, I guess that's solid, 18 versus two. Still hurts, still hurts when I lose a buy-in in a day, still hurts when I lose to one-outers. I think that's like the fifth or sixth one-outer I've lost to in my life. Those are pretty annoying, more than the money, just the fact that it happens. Of course it's gonna happen, but still when it does, it's pretty annoying. So on my way out, I was gonna print out my uh, vouchers, get a Gatorade before I headed back to my room at the Rio, and all three machines in Bally's were not working. I walked to Paris. I tested three of the eight machines I know of in Paris. None of them were working either. You uh, swiped your card, and it was like very slow, and would just like freeze and time out and get you back to the original page and nothing would ever happen. So I couldn't even get a Gatorade on my way out. That's how bad I was running. So I'm here at McDonald's. As far as I know, the last thing on the dollar menu is uh, one drink, any size for a dollar. I'm gonna go get a Powerade. And uh, yeah, I didn't just run bad on the tables. I ran bad in the sports drinks also. But the good news is my run bad might be over because on the drive here, uh, Bare Naked Ladies was on the radio one week, and uh, Avril Lavigne was on the radio, complicated, so can't really ask for a lot more than that.